Falafel Jr., what is going on? Everybody, we are done with week three. We roll forward into week four, going to be completing the first quarter of the NFL season. Ah, it's so nice to have fantasy football back, but man, it can be frustrating. I'm sure some of you guys are feeling the frustration as your uh, records aren't exactly what you'd like to be. Jetty, I'm talking to you. You suck. Uh, just keep plugging away. There's a lot of time left. Even if you think you're in a big hole right now, there's just, there's so many different things that can happen. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. You guys all know this. You've all been playing for a while. So without further ado, I will stop jibber jabbering and continue to jibber jabber for another few minutes as I hand out these weekly awards. Number one, higher than a kite going to KS44 this week, 143.5 points, 11 plus points from seven of his nine starters, 25 plus points from three different guys. He could have beat Jetty with only three guys or only four guys starting this week. So uh, that is pretty good. Pretty good from him. Sloppiest girl in the bar this week goes to Corey. 75 points. Six of his nine players scored 6.9 points or less. He got 6.4 points from Carson Palmer and Brandon Cooks combined. So you are just destined to have a rough, rough week if that is the case. The next up is the Who Let You In Award. The winner of the most lopsided victory goes to KS44 this week, a 48.4 point victory. KS44 had the Chiefs defense on his bench, so this one could have been a lot worse. Jay's lucky that it was only that. The Baddest Bench Award. This one goes to Jetty. He did win something this week. He had Doug Baldwin with 26 points and Tavon Austin with 18.9 points on his bench. The crazy thing is had he started them, it would not have helped. KS44 still would have won that game. So just uh, at least he won something at least to go with the mono that he's now contracted. Uh, next up would be not supposed to be here today. This one goes to Profit. He got the victory even with Kelvin Benjamin putting up a big old goose egg. That is pretty impressive. So that one goes to him this week. Next up, the tighter than a crab's vagina award. This one also goes to Profit. 2.6 point victory over Showcase, who had Ezekiel Elliott, Jeremy Hill, Jordy Nelson, Zach Miller, but Prophet had uh, David Johnson and Marvin Jones, so it just was not enough to uh, for Showcase to overcome, just a little too much for him, and maybe because of that, he wins this next award. The Milk Was a Bad Choice Award goes to Showcase, who started Kenny, or could have started Kenny Stills over Golden Tate or Chris Ivory, and would have earned you that victory this week. Or if Zeke was ever allowed to run the ball at the goal line, that would have probably pushed you over the edge as well. But he does not get those goal line touches, does he? Next and last is the fucking Chuck Norris Award, the highest scoring loser. And this one also goes to showcase 125 points, 20, 120.5 points. He would have beat 10 other people in Falafel Jr., this week, it just shows you why fantasy football can be a son of a bitch. So uh, we look forward to week four. Game of the week, we've got 3-0 and trade fantasy going up against 2-1 and slime sucking hogs. Then in the battles for mediocrity, we've got 2-1 and GA17 versus 1-2 and Army Dan. 2-1 and Profit versus 1-2 and KS44. 2-1 and Gates versus 1-2 and Money Martins. Then in the lopsided battle, we've got 2-1 and one Hoog, who I haven't seen around very often, and uh, versus 0-3 oh Jetty, looking to get that first victory of the season. And in the battle for 500, we've got 1-2 and two Showcase versus 1-2 and two M Silver. So, like I said, a lot of time left. Do not get too down on yourselves. It's a long way to go. And uh, good luck to everybody in their matchups this weekend, and I look forward to seeing you in Falafel, and I will talk to you guys later.